figure out how to tailor your message. So here are some audiences that you might be wanting to reach. Um, college students, managers, fundraisers, researchers, other scientists, media, citizen scientists, um, funding agencies, board members. You could probably think of dozens. But all of these people have different concerns, values, and perspectives, right? For example, a policymaker might be wondering if this information impacts their constituents um, or how it make, helps them make a decision. A journalist is gonna be asking, what's the story? The more explicitly you define your audience, the easier it'll be how to figure out your message and why it matters to them, to figure out that so what, to take your personal why and turn it into something that other people can identify with. We commonly hear from scientists that they want to reach the general public. Um, the challenge with trying to reach the general public, like really reach them, right? Not just throw something up on Twitter, is that there's an awful lot of heterogeneity within that broad group. And the general public is made up of such a diverse group of people with different needs and priorities. Um, so when you're thinking about your audience, it's really helpful to be more specific. Being specific helps you make your messages relevant and resonant with what your audience values and cares about. So we call this the so what prism. Um, when light enters a prism, what happens? Right? It's, it's diffractive, right? Mm -hmm. it becomes a rainbow. Um, so think of your message as pure white light entering a prism and then being filtered and diffracted by what matters to your audience. So if you know your audience, you understand their so what, you can modify your message to focus on what matters to that specific audience the most. And as you work through your message, message boxes in a bit, um, you know, most of you will probably be thinking about media as so what, but probably a lot of you are, in, are interacting with managers and uh, you know, possibly policymakers as well, um, and communities. But again, for instance, uh, policymakers, does this support my agenda? Do my constituents care? Other scientists, is this groundbreaking, credible? How does it affect my work? And media, again, is this news? What's the story? So that wraps our section on the science of science communication. Before we get into the message box, um, we are running a hair behind, but I just want to pause to see if there are any questions specific to what 